The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Come on, they said, let us concoct a plan against Jeremiah. For the law will not perish for lack of priest, nor advice for lack of wise men, nor the word for lack of prophets. Come on, let us slander him and pay no attention to anything he says. Pay attention to me, Yahweh. Hear what my adversaries are saying. Should evil be returned for good? Now they are digging a pit for me. Remember how I pleaded before you and spoke good of them to turn your retribution away from them? And our response is taken from Psalm 31. Into your hands I commit my spirit. By you have I been redeemed. God of truth, you hate those who serve useless idols. But my trust is in Yahweh. But my trust is in you, Yahweh. I say, you are my God. Every moment of my life is in your hands. Rescue me from the clutches of my foes who pursue me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your faithful love. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, and on the road, he took the twelve aside by themselves and said to them, Look, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man is about to be handed over to the chief priests and scribes. They will condemn him to death and will hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified. And on the third day, he will be raised up again. Then the mother of Zebedee's sons came with her sons to make a request of him and bowed low. And he said to her, What is it you want? She said to him, Promise that these two sons of mine may sit one at your right hand and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I am going to drink? They replied, We can. He said to them, Very well, you shall drink my cup. But as for seats at my right hand and my left, these are not mine to grant. They belong to those to whom they have been allotted by my Father. Now when the other ten heard this, they were indignant with the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that among the Gentiles the rulers lord it over them, and great men make their authority felt. Among you this is not to happen. No. Anyone who wants to become great among you must be your servant. And anyone who wants to be first among you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord.